Alright guys, welcome back. Um, my name is Kyle Minert. I'm the owner of Honey Bee Rescue. We are a uh, bee removal company here in Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, serving the greater metropolitan area. Uh, we do live bee removal and honey, honey bee relocation and hive removal. So we basically take the bees out of houses, repurpose them, recondition them, and make them active colonies for our apiary, which is under real honey. So again, honey bee rescue and bee removal. Today I want to talk to you about uh, types of comb and uh, what you can do to get your bees to really stick to some of the plastic frames uh, and artificial uh, frame comb. So uh, first, let's talk about comb. This right here is about a year, maybe two year old comb. As you can see, it's really brittle, it's dark, it's kind of nasty. Um, there's a lot of pupa uh, sacs that are left in there. Um, there's some, some things inside of it that are just kind of gross. Uh, it has a really unique shape to it. It smells like old, uh, old uh, honeybees wax. It's not really a good smell. It's kind of dingy. Um, it's, it feels uh, almost tacky to the touch. It's really stiff, crunchy, and hard. This comb is probably about a year, two, two years old. This is what you see in older colonies and older drawn frames. Um, bees will work this comb over and over. Um, but this is an older piece uh, that I'm just going to show you guys. It's relatively clean. It's nice. There's, you know, this is a nice hive. There's a little queen cell right here you can see on the very end where they built for her. Um, but again, older comb. Uh, right here we've got some newer comb. This is brand new comb, freshly drawn from a swarm. We took out a valve box. You can see it's got a really pretty edge to it. It's really white. Um, there's a little dead bee in it. Um, it smells really clean. It smells like beeswax candles and it's sticky and it's real delicate. Like I can pull this apart relatively easy. It's not going to stay together. Um, it smells amazing, like fresh beeswax. This is the comb that you can reuse in a solar melter. I don't recommend using this or cleaning this up. It's gonna take you too much time and effort, uh, but this stuff right here is great. You don't have to wash it, you don't have to clean it. It's just, you can literally wad it into a ball and it's ready to go. Um, here's some new comb that still has some nice uh, pollen in it. Um, you can see it's still capped relatively uh, well. It's could be dark yellow pollen. Um, this is really, stuff that they started gathering initially and uh, they filled most of these cells and capped them. Um, you'll see a lot of this, you won't see a lot of honey in the comb because that's the first thing to go when you expose comb in, comb in the apiary. Um, but this is this is new comb, this is stuff that I don't recommend putting into your beehive personally, but if you want to make lip balm or candles, use this stuff, don't use this dark, this dark stuff. Um, this is real nice, it melts real well. It takes about um, eight cups of honey, or eight pounds of honey to make a pound of wax. So this is the hard part. Uh, the bees make the wax from underneath their stomachs, little scales that shed, they chew them up and they, they form them into the your quintessential, uh, you know, hexagon shape. So anyways, here's the comb. Here's this new comb. So let's talk about a little bit further. Um, here's a frame, and this frame is an old frame. It's an old super frame. It's, it's kind of your, what you'd use to draw honey. Uh, bees don't really like this stuff, this plasticell, and so you have to make it more appetizing. Uh, what we do is we buy uh, about these one pound packs of, uh, of wax pellets. These are just honeybee wax. You can buy it. It's about $4. You can buy the big bricks. Pellets, I like them. They melt easier. Uh, once you get them melted, uh, we get you a, uh, a paint roller just like this one. Dunk it in there and just give it a good once over on each side. Nothing more than that. You don't have to get the corners. Just get it real good right in the middle and uh, that'll start the bees on this frame it'll make them stick in your box uh, they love the smell of this it smells great in the house if you want to put a drop of uh, lemon lemongrass oil uh, in there put a one drop to a big bucket uh, that's great too but realistically uh, that should be enough just one little whoop right down the middle make sure it's thick make sure you see it it'll dry kind of a clear kind of waxy color um, and then put these back into your hive and uh, the bees will immediately start taking to them and building that foundation. It gives you a jump start. It's a great way for supers. Um, when we do supers, we'll do you know, 50, 250 of these at a time. We'll do a big crock pot or I'll do a big uh, cast iron bucket and we'll sit around and psh, psh, put it back in, psh, psh, put it back in. And that way it just makes it easy. Um, the bees love it, they stick to it. Um, you only have to do it once unless you get infected with something like small hive beetle, or not small hive beetle, uh, wax moth. Then we scrape it all off into the trash. But 
Uh, and that's the difference in comb. That's a trick to you know, get your bees to stick to your supers. Um, and so our removed bees, our bee relocations, we do that uh, to ensure they stay in their new hive. Oftentimes feral bees don't like this uh, plastic cell, but if you put enough wax on it, they're gonna stick around, they're gonna like it. So, um, and again, another tip for Honeybee Rescue, and we thank you for your time.